Alrighty, and welcome back, folks. Roth here. Let's see. It's in a lovely Wednesday night, and I want to get some art done. So I'm going to boot up a scribble at it. Scribble it with a, an exclamation point. Exclamation point? Yeah. Exclamation point or mark. Uh, so far, I got 97.7 hours in. 9 out of 37 achievements, but these can only be achieved when we're playing the Scribblet games. But uh, but tonight it's just going to be an art night. And also I think they've, they've got the winners, so let's see who the winners are. Uh, let's take a look at some of the entries. That is if I can. I'm not sure if I can though, or if they show it or not. But um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get to enter... Hey there, Acres. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to enter, so... Um, but I hope that the uh, the winning entries definitely uh, deserve those wins. Uh, and I'm sure that they were wisely chosen. Uh, but I think it might be viewable once I boot up the app, so we'll see. Uh, this seems to be an, a hot fix, a patch. This is the latest patch, 1.5.4.2. Uh, these are what they fixed. Some typos. Uh, but yeah, let's spit it up. And let's uh, continue with our Pink Rathian drawing that we left off with last week. Also, I hope you're all doing well. I'm just slightly awake, or I want to say like half awake. I wanted to take a nap, but uh, you know what? I'm going to try and trudge through this. And I don't think there's much to be done other than the coloring for this drawing. So let's head up to my profile, check out the gallery. And oh yeah, I didn't get to show these last time. So I usually play this on Sunday. It's going to game mode to, you know, to play on Sunday. Oh, thanks for the father. But, um, but yeah, last, last Sunday I didn't get to come back here and show the, the drawings that we did. Uh, this is the drawing that we're going to be working on tonight. Uh, I'm going to be finishing it. It's pretty much halfway done, but I'm going to get back to it and then add the coloring. And then, you know. We'll, we'll finalize it uh, but yeah I wanted to show these these little drawings um, when we played last Sunday started with a lollipop soda banana peanut butter hmm peanut butter there's spaghetti I've been having some spaghetti the last few days hoverboard there's a donut parsley done I think the, the the folks that I, I played with that night, they, they were able to guess it like before I even finished the drawing. There's fried egg. I think if I recall the the group was managed to guess it right before I even drew the egg. So I did the pan first before I even started putting the, the colors for the egg. There's coconut, lime in the coconut, there's chef. A domino, darts, another donut in a cup, there's a teddy bear, there's a beet, I really like that beet, uh, there's a carrot, of course, very simple shape, easy to guess, there's a reindeer, there's a penguin, <laughs> there's a sock pocket, I feel like I should save some of these to favorites. Otherwise, they, they would just be um, deleted over time. There's Eagle. Magic 8-Ball. I, I was about to write yes. I only got the, the letter Y down. But um, but I think it would probably be easier if I had the number 8 rather than this. But I, th I think if I have the number 8, it will probably just look like a, a billiard ball or something. Like a solid 8. 
There's a clock. I was about to draw like eyes. Even though it, right here it looks like the letter C, but I was just in the process of drawing an eye. But then the entire room already guessed it correctly, so. There's the alpaca. I might have to save this. There's a knee. Sound. I had to draw, had to draw a, a musical instrument to showcase the sound. There's hourglass. Trumpet. Yep, we had a musical category. Purple, of course. There was wolf. I didn't even get to finish it, but made that one dot before it was finalized. Headphones. Moltres. We had to. We had it set to a Pokemon category for that room. Egg. Kite. Clapping. Pimple. Mousetrap. Now these are all drawings that I've done. It was a partly drawn, partly drawn Charmander. There's Hoof. Ivory. I wasn't too sure how to go about with Ivory. I also accidentally selected this one. There was also Bowser in one of the prompts. When I looked back at the footage, there was a Bowser one. I would have chosen Bowser, but I accidentally clicked on uh, Ivory. Uh, but yeah, I went with uh, like Elephant Tusk and then Piano Keys. We're in the process of drawing. There's Lock, Parasect, the Pokemon. I wasn't too sure how it looked like, but I, I got the majority of the shape down. Wasn't too sure how the eyes looked though. Lawnmower. I try to keep it simple, basic, and also easy to guess. There's Dynamite, of course. A pack of them. There's Bar. Boom Barrier. Don't know what this means or what it is, but uh, I just drew a bomb. Bum bomb and then just like a fence to, you know, sort of barricade it or some sort of barrier. Uh, photographer, I wasn't too sure about this. But um, I, I think, I think like no one got this or, or maybe one person got it. Uh, carpenter. Gill. Jellyfish. Platypus. I don't think they were able to get this, but uh, I had to draw a slide duck. Sai, and then this also all Krabby here to end it. Krabby the Pokemon. Krabby Patty. Alright, so yeah, that was uh most of the drawings. We did a lot of drawings, a lot of sessions that night. Uh yeah, we had some uh like one-on-one -on -one sessions, so it's probably why it's probably explains why I have so many drawings here. Alright, let's go back to free draw mode. And here it is. We draw mode. And open gallery. And then also like the drawing. I, I I feel like I should add some of these to favorites just in case. Uh hmm. Sure. Maybe maybe I'll add this one here. Add to favorites. Maybe the sock pocket, I'll add. Uh, hmm. I do like the beat. And the donut. I'll add this guy too. Banana. Oh yeah, and the bread. Peanut butter. There you go. These are some other ones uh, in the past. Oh, I feel like I should add some of these too. Because uh, once we've, once we've reached the max, it'll just uh, overwrite and just delete itself. Laptop. Uh, yeah, I can probably add this bomb. A rocking horse. Dalmatian. These are some past ones I've done. Uh, I did like this helmet one that I did, but no one was able to guess it. Toucan. I was trying to draw Toucan Sam, but this is not exactly how it looked like. Also, I was drawing by memory. I don't keep it in the way. There's a horizon. Uh, I'm not sure I want to keep this moth. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep the moth. And, uh, and bison. I like bison. Needs to be added as well. Water. It's a gallon of water. Ooh, jam. Glacier. 
Oh, here's one of the credit cards. This is the, uh, the Visa. I might... I wanted to do the, um, the Visa logo in the corner there. Power Glove. No one was able to guess this one. Uh, Fog. Wario. Definitely adding all the Warios that I did. Oh, I wanted to do a Bart Simpson, but Skateboard was the, uh, the prompt. Piranha, PD Piranha. Disney, of course. Got the Mickey Mouse. Table Tennis. Got some of these. There's a flat tire. Another Wario. And Magic. So I'll keep those for now. Um, yeah. Last week we were working on the Pink Rathian. Um, I meant to save a few instances. Uh, starting with the egg. And the dirt here. Pink sky. Uh, let's see. Yep, you see different uh, progress images. And, um, yeah. I, I got so into the drawing that I, I, you know, I got the wings out, the claws, the tail, most of the body before I pressed the, uh, the save button again. So here is the latest version of the image. Gonna be coloring the rest of it, adding more pinks to the body. So let's go in here. Uh,. In free trial mode. There we go. All right. So now that we're in, we can get started. Um. So I'm pretty positive that I may finish this tonight. Um. If not, I may start a different drawing next time. Next time I, you know, uh, bring this up. Uh, let's see here. But. It is likely I'll, I'll be able to finish this. Or at least, you know, get, get most of the coloring done. Uh, let's see, let's get the right color for this. Also, let me just check the volume level real quick. Make sure everything's good. Yep, make sure it's at 50. 50 is a pretty good level for this game. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh boy. See, I don't know why it keeps on switching the default black whenever I change the setting. Let's go back to this color. So I'm, I'm just drawing with a simple mouse. Computer mouse. Nothing special. It's going to be a lot of clicks. You'll, see, you'll hear a lot of clicks. Hey there, Green Cat Frog. Uh, let's see. So I, I noticed something else in this image that I uh, didn't notice when I was uh, drawing out the outline. And it was supposed to be the ears. The ears are what uh, looks a bit odd. So I may want to fix it as I'm coloring here. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm supposed to pull out some images so I can actually see uh, the coloring. Which, which parts are or what color and stuff. Also, I, I enabled closed captions. So you may see uh, some closed captions popping up underneath the video or just at the bottom of the video, depending on which platform you're watching up. But um, I, I think Twitch, Twitch's video player has built-in closed captions. And if it detects, like, any closed clap captions stream coming through, it would, you know, pop it up, pop it open for, uh, for its player. And then it will be viewable right on the video. And it would play back when, in, in, even in VOD form or archive video form, it would still play that closed captions with the audio or with, with my voice speaking voice right now so this is all live right now all doing this live so folks may see the closed captions pop up I, I, even for youtube to youtube might be able to support it as well so just gotta look for the uh, the cc button at the bottom to the right side of the player and it should pop up for you uh, otherwise you can disable it but uh, 
I started enabling it recently, like this past week, just for folks that uh, that want to use it, they may. And I almost forgot, actually I did forget, to uh, to add that tag on over on Twitch side. It's actually a, a tag, separate tag, just for closed captions for folks that are looking for streams that has closed captions. the rest of her head. I feel like I, I need to adjust the the ear drawing first before I finish the coloring. But maybe it won't be noticeable. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Mm -hmm. I have my switch on. Let's put it to sleep mode for now. And have a charge. I've been logging on to uh, Pokemon Unite pretty much every day, but I haven't played a single match since uh, since the the holiday update or the, the winter update has passed. But uh but I try to log on when I can when I can. Just to collect the daily rewards. And even though the some of the rewards require you to go into a battle to claim them, but I just don't uh I just can't find myself to uh to do a battle. I knew how it's gonna be. Let's see. Let's get the rest of the body here. Yeah, this is a little bit of fan art, Monster Hunter inspired. This is the Pink Rathian. We fought uh, plenty of Rathians this past uh, week or so. Rathian variants. There would be the, the Hyper Rathian that I'd fight in Generation Ultimates. And also the Apex Rathian, who, who I successfully hunted uh, earlier this week. So on Monday, a couple days ago. Got her down solo. Pretty proud of that. Yeah, it took like, uh, I want to say like 40, 40 something minutes, I think. I would have to look back at the footage to see how long it took. But pretty much the entire match. And yeah, got her down pretty well. And then there was a uh... yeah. I guess I guess in Generations Ultimate, it's just the um, the the Dread Queen that will be the variant. Either Dread Queen, Queen, or or Hyper Rathian. I'm not sure what the differences are. But note that the the hyper would have like the dark aura around it, similar to the apex. Apex would be in rise, so it's pretty much like like a hyper version of those monsters. It's like the more the more pink I use on this, um, it would like cover the outline. Oh yeah, I forgot the um the hairs. Uh, so I kind of want to move the hairs to the sides rather than keeping it at the center. Because 
for, for, for some of the images that I've seen, uh, especially for the regular Rathian, like the hairs back here would be on the sides rather than in the center. Or so I noticed for some of the common images of the Rathian. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I might want to adjust it later. entire thing. We'll probably make the outline look a little faded. I don't want that. I want it to like stand out a little bit. So I'm trying my best to like color in between the lines. The more I color over it, the more lighter the outlines are going to appear. the uh, the ears even look like I think it just it just appears right here but uh, I'm looking at this little spike here to see how it how it would fit let's see I'm trying to get this color here let's see how this looks I'm gonna try like this like, it was supposed to be like this, like, this would be the shape of it. Hmm. This would probably make the ears look like it's extended out a little bit. There we go. Some more over here. supposed to be like yellowish colored kind of like the sky but like maybe a little more lighter colored let's try to soften it up a bit drag it away from the pink yes yeah, something like this a little lighter. This would match along with the jaw. There you go, something like that. Do, 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 do. like editing some videos all day today still not finished with it though but I'm gonna be um, 
trying to trying to get some some compilations. There's a clip compilation that I'm trying to trying to finish editing together. But there's a lot of footage that I got to go through, and uh, it, it's very time consuming getting all the footage together. Uh, have you played Diddy Kong Racing on SE4? Reminds me of it. This reminds you of Diddy Kong Racing. I'm not sure if uh, I mean this 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 the egg. But, uh, but of course, I feel like we've all played uh, Diddy Kong Racing. That was a, a very popular game. Along with Mario Kart, Wave Race, Snowboard Kids. I ranted about Snowboard Kids uh, the past few days. Now that Nintendo is closing down their, uh, their eShop. You heard that right. Nintendo is has already announced their closer of the Wii U eShop and 3DS. So say your goodbyes, get all the games you can, because uh, they're going to be closing it down really soon. I also have a... I, I think I... I'm not sure if I have the command up, but um... But there is archive footage of me going over my Wii U and 3DS play hours, play time, all the games that I spent on those systems uh, all have been uh, overviewed and calculated. So you can see the exact hours that I spent in each of the games on those systems. Uh, that was part of the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimates uh, stream. I think it was the last one that I did. The last big one, I think. It was like a, a long eight hour session. Eight and a half hour session. So I might just link that for the future. So any any questions about um, Wii U or 3DS, I might just pull up that video so folks can uh, can see how much time I spent on that on those systems. So we'll see how that goes. There's a battle mode where you can collect eggs from a nest. Yeah, I remember that one. Um, I also have that game for the DS. Um, just in case you missed out on the DS version of Diddy Kong Racing. It's pretty much the same game. But, um, but it had one extra mode where you could create your own custom tracks. So this was way ahead of time way ahead of Mark Hart series. So, as far as I know, you weren't able to create custom tracks in the Mark Hart game until recently. So, Diddy Kong Racing DS came out back in like 2007, 2008, I want to say. Because I, I remember that specifically. Because I played it. I owned it. <laughs> I got it when, it when it was still brand new. And I feel like not a lot of people got to play that version of the game. But um, but yeah, came out on the DS. It looked the same, but it had uh, some new features here and there. Boom, 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 boom. Also, I hope that the volume levels are fine. <laughs> Whenever I see like a dinosaur egg like this, um, it reminds me of a lot of things, including the dinosaur sitcom, you know, with, with that family and the, uh, not the mama. You know, that that family, that sitcom, that show used to play on TV. Yeah. Cause there was a there was there'll be an egg that would hatch. It would be the kid. It was it would be the baby. Not the mama. Alright, I think the uh, the legs are also this color. 
Let's get a tougher coat. Solid color. Man. Also, really considering going to, uh, TwitchCon. I know for sure I'll be heading to PAX East. That won't happen until, I think, late April? So that's gonna be a really fun time. I can't wait to get back. But, um... But, uh, Twitch just announced the dates for TwitchCon. Which is going to be happening uh, in October, like second week, first to second week of October, so that that weekend. And uh, we're still waiting for some more details, like how uh, you know bookings are going to go and stuff. I looked at some of the um, some of the hotels around the area, and uh, I mean it, it is quite expensive. Like the longer the longer we wait, the more expensive it's gonna be. Pretty much, that's just usually how it goes. So, if I do plan to go, and I'm still deciding, like I would have to book it ASAP. But uh, kind of want to wait a few more details just to see you know, who's going and and whatnot, because it's going to be really expensive. So I kind of want to plan it out right, rather than pour like a whole bunch of money into this trip, you know. But I feel like it would be worth it if I do go. And I'm kind of like 30% like wanting to go. I mean, I, I, I fully want to go, but I don't know if I should, you know. Like I'm just 30% on the choice. But that, that won't be for a long, like towards the, you know, quarter four of the year or towards the end of quarter three so it'll be a, a few more months down so but it's good to plan early you know get all the bookings down I assume all the bed and air or bed and bed and breakfast bed and air uh, Bed and breakfast uh, locations are probably booked. Would have been nice to get one uh, at a time, but we didn't uh, expect these dates to be announced so soon. There were rumors, though, that they were about to announce the dates, but didn't hear them until... Uh, until yesterday. Do, 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 do. I'm sure if I should keep these colors. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's another DS title that I that I recall playing a bunch of probably not enough times, but I did spend a, a good chunk of time in it way back when. So yeah, that that game was roughly around 2007, 2008, because I remember picking that up at a at a Best Buy. The day it launched, or somewhere around there. Like, uh, was it the last night or the night before, we're trying to think of uh, what are the DS games 
were uh, significant. Or at least for me, what I played the most, what I enjoyed the most on the system. Um, not counting the 3DS, just DS titles. So, Phantom Hourglass, I enjoyed a lot. I mean, you have your typical Brain Age and stuff. Those would be launch titles. But uh, I didn't get my DS until the DS Lite. So that was a couple years after the initial DS launch. Uh, but I was, I was really excited to get a hold of that DS Lite. Because I remember uh, looking store to store and just couldn't find one. It took like a couple of weeks since uh, it launched until I, I finally found one at a Best Buy. Just one left and it was the white one. The glossy white, I remember. And it was the exact one that I wanted. So it would be the glossy white, and then I think there was a black one. I'm not sure. Oh, there was a pink one, I think. I think those were the, the launch colors of the light, or something like that. But it was just the white one that I specifically wanted. And I saw it at a Best Buy shelf. The only one left. And I grabbed it. Bought it with my own money. And I was a happy boy. Happy boy that day. And, uh, yep, got to play uh, Phantom Hourglass, really enjoyed it. Very unique Zelda title. I wish to, uh, to one day broadcast it. I might actually pick up the digital version for Wii U and maybe broadcast that version. But, um... Yeah, I gotta see how it plays first. Wonder if there's any video footage of it online. There's gotta be. Like some of the virtual console releases or DS virtual console or DS games that in the form of virtual console for Wii U. That's like that's like a lot of words to just describe uh, certain releases. But um but yeah, the, apparently the Wii U has virtual consoles. Uh, DS games. So that is pretty neat. But uh, I kind of want to pick it up for the uh, the Wii U to play on the Wii U. Okay. Um, I think she's got like sort of spine. This color spine separates it from the rest of the body. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. See a little lighter. Some uh, shining outside here. And also the beak. I think the beak is also this color. Maybe a darker color. Perhaps. Also, there are no layers in uh, Scribblet's free draw mode. You just only have this one single layer and you gotta work with what you have. Very limited, very basic. Very primitive. You got three of these tools: the paint fill, paint bucket, paint fill, eraser, and then the brush. The brush has three sizes. You can adjust by wheel. I hear my uh, my mouse wheel just scrolling. You can adjust the size that way. That's a shortcut. And then there'll be the transparency in the advanced tab. And also adjusting the color, 
There's also the eyedropper. Here's the simple tab, so you get the basic colors. And then you got the shapes for line tool, circle, square, triangle. Very simple. Also, I forgot to send the wave in the chat. It actually can can invite folks into this lobby. Uh, so we can have like a co-op draw. Sort of like draw pile sessions, but you'd have like multiple people in the lobby. And then we all draw together in the same canvas. Which is a pretty neat concept. It's sort of like, you know, like I always tend to describe draw pile sessions as a uh, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, but multiplayer. Let's see. Let's add some more pink to the body. Try what? Try to get this color as soon as possible. Bum, 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 bum. Try to look at the rest of the body, see what colors I wear. Make sure I color them all in before I get down to the shadows and highlights. Notice how I, I was able to fix up the ears. Added the ears in. I, didn't, I totally didn't think about it as I was drawing the uh, the outline for the head. I spent uh, like at least a half an hour on the head alone. So I feel like the head is quite important on identifying the monster. And now the color also going to further help identify it. Which type of uh, Rathi it is. Get all the pinks in. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. I saw that um, as just as I was uh, booting up Steam. That um, the Final Fantasy VI, I believe it's Final Fantasy VI, the Pixel Remastered is now released on Steam. So the Square Enix is going that route where they put out a single title for the Pixel Remasters one by one, and uh, it certainly is building up hype for it. So it's a, uh, it's good, it's a good release schedule it's not they, they don't put it all at once you know put it out all at once but uh but having it out one by one gives time for people to enjoy the game uh you know before the next release and stuff let's get all these scales colored and also the next fest, speaking of next, next fest is uh, Among Us. And uh, you may see me play some indie games really soon. Uh, demo a whole bunch of indie games sometime in the near future before it ends. I think we've got like a full week to do so. So I'm going to be browsing through the uh, Steam library. Uh, to see what what demos I could try. There's quite a few titles that look really interesting. Some of which came back that I haven't got to play, so had them set to like wishlist for a while. And I uh, just never got to download the demo, so now some of some of those titles are back. So and now that I've got a new computer, I can play some of those games, uh, hopefully without lag. And in 60 frames, so we'll see how how they run on this new computer. I know a lot of the Unity engine games tend to take up a lot of resources. And like a whole lot. Last time I tried to uh, to play some of them on stream. So hopefully they, they run just fine. This new build.
So maybe, I don't know, maybe on Sunday. Sunday is usually when I have like the Indies showcase. Indie game showcase. Um, also, you know, Scriblet being the indie game to showcase. But um, usually during Next Fest, they're, they're on like a Sunday or so. But we'll see what happens. Um, you know, a Friday would be a good slot too. It would be a good time slot. So if I don't, I also plan to uh, to do a, a much older game as part of the uh, Flashback Friday. But if I don't have that ready in time, I probably would do the next flesh, the next fest indie games on that day. So that would be something to do. Cause uh, I got started on what I wanted to, uh, to show on that Friday game. Which is something I plan to do pretty soon. So now I have a backup idea. I feel like uh, this pink is blending in with the sky. This is even the right color. I feel like uh, the under part of her wing should be a little lighter. But I kind of want just want to get the pink in first. Let's see what else I could add. Oh, oh. Might have to adjust these spikes on the wings. Hmm. These, uh, the hairs on the wings here gonna have to paint, be painted pink a little bit. They look a little faded. But, um, that's fine. I think I'll be able to recolor them later. Adding more uh, details to them. Let's go pink. See, sadly, there's no um, like blending options. Blending would be awesome. That would allow for uh, coloring, but like easier coloring, so that you don't affect the uh, the outline. Would be nice, but you know, this being a very simple drawing um, program, more of a game, but like using it as a drawing program is not very up to date, very primitive, limited on uh, tools and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like to try new things, try different tools and going about what possibilities we can do with it. And uh, so far we were definitely pushing the boundaries, pushing the limits of this this uh, app, this Scriblet app.
at least from from the reactions of the developers that like they responded with uh, the zombie image like how how did you even get surpassed one megabyte of size and have to show them video proof that I did it all within the program like one of the developers thought I inputted the image using a different program to draw it but nope it was all done within scribbling like imagine that like now knowing that it's pretty wild man the things you can do man in, in, in the right hands you better believe it here I am just clicking away slowly clicking away I feel like I should probably fade out the end of the tail so that it sort of almost blends in with the sky I'll just adjust the uh, transparency later on Bum, 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 bum. Can't wait to start adding the shadows. It'll probably look a little bit more uh, high contrast or so. More in depth, more deep. Alright, let's start. Less color. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. We got the tail colored. I mean, there's, there's still some parts where it's not fully colored, but so far we got um, most of it filled. Let's see, you get uh, little lighter colors. There you go. Just make sure I got it all filled a bit. Even though it's just a light. side to a very light run of this I mean it's not may not be noticeable on stream but there's definitely some light light pink on top of the uh, scales here very light layer I've only mouse We'll scroll like just one, one click up. But at least it would, you know, bring out the pink a little bit. But still blending in with the uh, the background color. So it's not quite the color that I want it to be. But I just want to get it covered. As long as I can continue to click over the same spot, it'll color it pink, even more pink. Let's go a little higher. Let's get this part here. I think this part needs a little bit more detail or something. Alright, 
Let's get each of these individual scales. I think probably adding some reds to it. Not really reds, but like uh, pinkish reds, magentas to it would definitely add a lot to the uh, to the colors. Make it seem a little more dynamic, maybe with like varying colors of pink and reds. But not too red, where it would look like a Rathalos. Definitely want to keep it to the uh, to the pink colored, light light pink colored. Okay. Those wings. like uh some of the lines are just a bit neat they're, they're a little bit sketchy but i'm gonna need to color over it a little bit to make it a little bit more smoother smoother looking i feel like this uh left wing or the rathy's left wing It's a little bit unfinished in terms of outlining. But this is fine. I can work with this. Alright. So far, so good. Yeah. Well, get some more of the wing. Tell me, gonna want a snack after this. Got enough of the wings colored. Trying to see if there's anything else I missed. Yeah, let's get the inside of the ears a bit. It's like the ears are pretty much just blank right now. I get some details in there. Dun, dun. something like that. Ba, ba, ba. It almost looks like uh, like elf ears. Wyverians. Sometimes I guess uh, certain designs would make them look uh, very elf-like. Especially if there's like a humanoid version. Humanoid version of the Wyvarium. Wyvern. I guess if they would have ears like this. Perhaps even smaller version. Break up something like that. Okay. Alright. Um oh, we're just about an hour in so far. I may want to may want to step back for a bit 
and uh, see what what the next step would be for this. I mean, I, I see that the, the spikes are a little, a little bit sketchy. So I, I kind of want to go in and, and clean it up a bit. Uh, for now, I'm going to step away for a bit. Be right back. Snack. Back to Rathian. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll give her like darker pinks. Let's let's try this out. Uh, 
also should probably bring up some uh, some photos of the pink rathian. Pink Rathian. Let's see what shows up. All right, we got some images. I like the uh, I like the Monster Hunter Online portrayal of the Pink Rathian. Looks pretty neat. There's a PNG of it too. Over in the the fandom page. Okay, I see. I see some of the colors now. Okay, Frontier. Frontier seems to have some nice colors for it. Sort of like a, a mix of pink and yellows, like a, a light yellow to it. Interesting. Oh, even the even the ears are are more pink than they are yellow. Might want to fix that. Although I'm not sure how the colors are for the bottom of the feet. Check real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, it seems to be more more reddish than uh than anything. Okay. So the under part of the wings are also more reddish colored. Let's see what color we have here. Mm, yeah, this is definitely a darker pink. Let's go for a more reddish color. Let's see what we got here. Testing out some colors. Yeah, this would be the the real, like the actual color I want to go for. Actually, no, this will be a. Uh, it won't be as reddish. It's, it's more hyper pink. Let's get it um, somewhere over here. This color. And this one's a more lighter. It, it's more saturated color. That's what it is. But I think uh, I think this color is just fine where it is because it, it fits with the environment and the the time of day. Hmm. Let's see if we can find this color again. Just get uh, darker. Yep, darker color. Whoa, that's a much more grayer. Way more grayer than I want. Let's see this one. Okay, this might work. It's got a more reddish, like a darker reddish. So this might work. I do like this one. Let's make a little bigger. Now we're just blurring in the uh, the details, I guess. Hmm. It looks like the uh, the, the this wing here is like a little bit bruised. But some of the colors are definitely shining through a bit. Yeah, I think this color definitely definitely fits in. I may want to add some browns 
to like the claws and stuff. Uh, let's get some over here. Hmm. Then this part might need to be a little more lighter colored. On the next wing, hmm, we should go a little darker. Need more color. Oh, so let's see if we can bring up uh, another tab. Yeah, so many folks on tonight. Let's see, it's only Wednesday. Yeah, I think just keeping it like this um, is fine. I don't want to go too into detail. Just a uh, simple, simple shadow, simple highlights is fine. I, I think from afar or at a glance, it will still look. Uh, Still look fantastic. Just raising the bar little by little. I forgot to check whether or not the uh, the Valentine's Day entries were viewable. I didn't, I don't. I didn't notice like any box for the Valentines. So they, they must have uh, disappeared with the latest update, unfortunately. But uh, all the winning entries, I think they were posted over on Twitter and also the official Discord. For any folks that were interested in seeing that. Um, the ones I chose, the ones I, I voted for, happened to be uh, the winners. So, including the Sophie from uh, the Studio Ghibli one, that one definitely uh, got placed. But uh, I, I think the the grand prize winner were the two cats, the lovely two cats. That was pretty neat. I, I really liked that one. So I'm glad that one got the uh, the winning one. And I wish I had been able to submit something in, but I couldn't. The file size was not accepted. Exceeded the file size, which is quite unfair. <laughs> right after we work on an image for so long. Just can't submit it. But I was able to post the um, the archive video, so uh, so everyone got to see it. At least uh, folks that are on Discord.
Okay, I think this part somewhere around here needs to be more lighter color. Underneath the arm. Okay, I think this part needs to be pink. I'll go for this hard pink. Dark pink. It's kind of like a uh, chicken legs. Oh, it's coloring over this uh, this spot here. Not sure if it's a good idea. But I'll work with it. Maybe some of the the lighter spots would end up looking like shine. But man, look at this mess. <laughs> Mixing the colors together came out to be a total mess. Maybe we'll learn from this. Try to make it look like there's a you know bone, some layered bone or whatever. muscular legs because it, it's only standing on like these two legs these two limbs and who knows how much it weighs you know but good thing uh these legs are able to, to support its weight upper body let's get the top part here more pink I feel like the majority of these uh, legs are this color. Barely see the uh, the palm of it. If any case, it would just uh, be a small section like that. So over here it needs to be pink, I guess. I'll go with it. Let's get a bigger brush, fill it all in, something like this. Something like this. under part of the ankle kind of want to assume that the, uh, the, the all this part is going to be like reddish color it would look similar to the Rathalos but just more pink uh, do you want to try like a orangey brown Maybe not too much. Okay. Let's get this color. I think under here. Not sure how I'm going to be able to recolor this part. 
Let's go for the lighter one. Maybe the orange might work. So I gotta shape up this uh, this wing part a little more. No, I'm kind of unsure whether to add the hairs to this part or not. Six down. I'm kind of unsure about these spikes. Okay, let's get the other wing. Let's see, let's try the hard. There we go. Get some more colors in there. Keep it dark colored, I'm not sure. Fairy light. Yep, yeah, don't want it looking too buff. Or else it will interfere with the other image. The other side of it. Is it other wing? Hmm. Not sure where this one is at. I should make these parts this color. Or maybe just keep them to like a brownish color, darker brown color. Brown. This will be the shine color, I guess. Oh. 
Maybe it has like different streaks. It'll probably look more like wood. The claws. I may want to add some shine to them though. But also some textures if I can. Some very wood-like textures. Something like that. Some more over here. Spikes and horns. I think it's just the, uh, the spikes, not so much horn. Definitely add um, more color variety, which is pretty neat. See, I gotta imagine like the uh, the angle of the summit shines. It's like horns, like spikes above the uh, the eyebrow. I think. Not sure if they're discolored though. some more to the uh to the mouths some more detail to the mouth also let's get some of these up here It's like a slight green to them. Slight, very slight green. And that's also probably due to the environment. The pinkish environment. It's making our eyes uh, just to the I think I just like, you know, sketched it out, color sketch it, not actually uh, putting the most detail in them. This would allow me to uh, draw the direction of the horns out, not the horns, the, uh, the spikes. So I have this good.
this might this might end up being a, a very short session. But yeah, I think, uh, I think most of it is just uh, just getting the colors in, and it shouldn't take long either. I think the the drawing part is most time consuming because you gotta. Make sure the lines are correct. At the same time, just thinking of a pose for the character or creature, whatever the object is. And then the uh, cinematography, the photography part of the image needs to be in the right place, right order. I was looking at through some um hmm. oh man, it's tough to keep my eyes open. It's getting uh it's getting to that point where Gonna need to nap if I can. Hmm. But we're almost done. I feel I could add some more details here with these colors. Two spikes. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Man, these look like a like a hint of green. For sure. This would be a little bit more brownish, but it turned out looking a little more green than brown. But it's okay. More of an olive color. I was trying to get somewhere between uh, gray and brown. Like dark gray and brown. But I may want to colorize this a little bit more to a more reddish color. She is um, a flying wyvern. Flying wyvern, wyvern is usually half poison. Goes the hard drive, winding up. And I gotta, I gotta get rid of this small spike here. Right click it. Right, right clicking is not good in this. Or else you're gonna be filling. It's pretty much the same button as this guy. The fill bucket. Oh, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Alright. Oh yeah, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I would have to go full screen in order to uh, to get the image, uh, the canvas zoomed in a little more, or appear a little bit more bigger, so it's easier for the cursor to go. It's trying to squint while adjusting some of these lines, or making these lines are very challenging. Like imagine have to play a figment with a mouse. Unless it is programmed to do that. I guess that makes sense. Come on. Oh, press the wrong button there. I don't know why I pressed that button, but I was trying to hold on to it so I don't make a mistake. That's okay. Um, let me save this. There we go. Man, that took like an hour. An hour and a half just to fill in the colors, man. 
Oh boy. Take a look at this. Alright. Um could add some more shadows to it. Maybe go for more reddish colored. Let's see how this comes out. Go for more darker color. Yeah, so I think we're supposed to be this color here. More reddish. Let's see if we can get um like a reddish pink. Yeah, it should be more like this, like bloody. I feel. I'll just add a bunch here and there. I mean, it kind of looks too clean if I, if I leave it that green color. So maybe a little bit of reds here and there would heighten it up a bit. Yeah, definitely brings it out a little bit. I want to. I don't want to put too much, or else it's gonna look like it's blood. Sure, what's happening down here? Still not sure about these spikes, man. Mm. I want to keep them there, but you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll find a way to, to fix it. Let's get a dark color. Preferably uh, this color here. Let's see, if we can get some down here. some popping over here. Quite unsure on the hairs, but this will do for a bit. Very red. I think the back is supposed to show a little more though. So let me see if we can recolor a little bit. Maybe I, I could add some purples to it. Although the purple would make it look like um, the apex. Yeah, it would look like an apex or even a hyper variant of uh, Rathian. I mean, that, that sort of makes sense. Just to give it that uh, variant look. No, oh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I guess it, it would be the shadows of the wing or something. Hmm. Looking at some of the uh, official arts. The um, Monster Hunter Stories version of Pink Rathians tends to have some browns to them. Along the legs, along the spikes, 
which is pretty neat. Hey there, JT. Dino is scary. Oh man. I don't know if you recall the uh, the movie, the Don Bluff film uh, from 1993 called uh, We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. That's a uh, one of our childhood childhood films. I haven't seen that one for a long time, but I do have it on Blu-ray. Got that one along with uh, the Page Master. I think I think both those films came out around the same year, or just around the same year. Like one of them, 1993, 1994. I think Page Master came out after maybe. But um, but yeah, both films uh, were composed by James Horn, I think. James Horn, which uh, notable composer of that generation. He did a whole bunch of films. I, I think he did uh, Cocoon 1985 as well, if I recall. Some really nice soundtracks he did. This, there needs to be something here, like a rock or something. Or maybe more to the background, I'm not sure. I feel like it's missing something. Okay, let's get some more dark shadows here. Around the head area. Let's see if we can find the right color. This color is just fine. I feel like um, like maybe more purplish color would do, but I think this works fine. It's like an alternate color. Man, I saw that um, Muscle Hunter is like on sale for. Uh, 3DS digital. Kinda makes me want to grab it. Oh, I don't know what color the eyes are. I think they're blue. Yeah, I should probably add that, huh? This is the pink Rathi. Trying to add more details to it. I think this uh this darker pink is a uh, very nice color. In combination with the lighter colors. Definitely adding some depth to it. Shaping it a bit. Let's get a little bit bigger. Hmm. Let's get some more magenta colors.
bigger brush, please. And that way it cover more area. I just I just thought of the uh, hunter. Maybe adding a hunter down here. Although I'm not sure now. It'll, it'll be a lot of detail, and I'm not sure if it's even there's even room to add the hunter to it. It'll be at a, a very odd angle. Like the sword, I can see the sword would appear like up close to the to the camera. They'll be holding it, just about ready to strike as the uh, the Rathian comes down. Like, that's what I'm picturing. I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be too sure what suit I want to... I want the hunters to, to wear. And I would see, like, a, like a great sword, carrying a great sword, about to swing it. Shadows, some shadows. Not sure about the details of the uh, of its head. I'll just add some random lines here and there. Too much, but in certain areas, get some over here. Like the uh, this part here, and then more on this side. Needs to be like a. a more shadowy area before I start adding the uh, the eye colors. Hmm. So I think the coloring for the beak goes down this way, and then it starts to blend in with the uh, the yellow. I think it's a very unique piece. Body part, I mean. Let's start adding some more darks. This side. Scales, 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 scales. Every scale had its own detail. I think that what 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 uh, brings uh, each of the scales out is when you uh, paint each of the scales. 
one by one. Or two by two is fine too. Speaking of which, uh, it was yesterday that was uh, Tuesday. All the twos yesterday. Or looking at the time now, the day before yesterday. On Tuesday. All the twos on Tuesday. February 22nd, 2022. On Tuesday. Palindrum. It was a palindrome and something else I forgot what it was called. But yeah, I'm trying to try to compile like a clips of Mario Kart. Some uh, some Mario Kart sessions that I played this past year. Trying to gather them all to like a single compilation, maybe two compilations. Uh, getting to editing them all day today, but uh, still not quite finished. Gotta scan through uh, some more footage so I can gather which ones are good. Or what I intend to add. I kind of want to send it over to uh, Twitch Rivals to see what they what they think. Maybe possibly get it featured on their channel. So uh, I think either I think this week or next week they're going to be featuring a lot of Mario Kart. In the coming days. Oh yeah, I forgot about the patterns under the wings. Should definitely add uh, just more darker, darker pinks. Yeah, I think this color here should be the color. Notice how the uh, these colorings has uh, already overtaken the the details already. There were once uh, sketchy details under the wing, but now they're just like colored over. So I may want to lay down some uh, some more. Let's get some over here. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Lots of clicking. Now the details on this side is going to disappear too. That look like eyes. They're the uh, the cobra patterns. Sort of. Some shadows over here. Can't wait to be, to be hunting the uh, the pink rappies tomorrow. In months of the three ultimates. There we go. And this these shadows definitely add more depth to the uh, to the monster. Let's go for a lighter color. There we go, something like that.
Smoothing the sound. There we go, good stuff. Yeah. All the shadows. Lots more needs to be done over here. some more of the ears. Ears gotta be a little bit darker there. Um, the snowstorm on Friday? Oh man. You're gonna be snowed in, huh? I, I, I guess we'll, we'll best have to prepare for it. I'll have my popcorn ready. I'm just kidding. I do have some popcorn though, but I'll save it for the weekend. Got some uh, some spooky movies set up for the weekend. Some more spookies. I think I think I might actually um oh, man, see I, I kind of want to do the Zelda thing for Friday but I, I have a feeling that I might not have uh, everything ready by then because I want to have that start screen especially that start screen <laughs> folks might not care about it but man I, I kind of want to you know organize it to to like Zelda you know and just just having that that start screen themed after Zelda is uh, I feel it's important because I want to keep it all organized. Like I have the music ready for it and everything, but I had to like connect my old hard drive so I can find pieces of music that I made in the past. Uh, and I just found it too. I just have to make the graphics for it and then start animating it. So, I'm not sure if I, I, I would have it ready by Friday, but there's like so many different things I want to do. Also, I got to get that Mario Kart clip compilation ready too. It's still working on that, so I might actually do that tomorrow. So if, I, if I'm if i not able to do the Zelda to, uh, on Friday, that's what to say tomorrow, uh, I'll probably do the indie game stuff. Check out some of those indie games ahead of time before they expire. Because that event doesn't last very long. So I kind of want to get the uh, the time limit stuff done first. Uh, spooky movies. Um, so one I have in mind is a Korean film called Monstrum. Monstrum. It's a monster movie. Um, big monster. Sora action-y? So I kind of want to check that out. I heard good things. Tra looks, trailer looks good. Monstrum with a U at the end. It's sort of, I don't know, it's sort of like a Korean monster hunter, but not really. I 
I feel like I, I, I want to add some more shadows to it, like some more darker colors, but... It's gonna, it's gonna take the entire night for me to do it. <laughs> but this is fine, I like, I like how weird it is right now. So you can bring out the, uh, the, the outlines a little more. Um, I think, uh, in March, there would be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, even though that one's not a very good one, but, uh, but that one is going to be arriving to Netflix. Currently, it's on Peacock Plus, but, um... Yeah, I think in March it's going to be hitting Netflix. So a majority of the films are going to be landing on Netflix, including the the latest one that's exclusive to Netflix because it's net Netflix uh, produced, I think, or funded, whatever it is. But the new one's okay. It's it's pretty okay, but it's a uh, it's definitely an important entry to that franchise. Oh, let me get some more shadows down here on this side. This one. This one makes sense. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, smaller scales. Yeah, but I, I kind of want to refresh on the uh, the 3D ones. I haven't seen I haven't seen the 3D one for a long time, as well as the remakes. Like the last time I saw them was probably when it first came out back in 2003. I remember uh, watching that along with uh, South Park seasons one, two. It was a DVD box set. At a friend's house. We spent that entire weekend just uh, binging that, binging that uh, those two seasons. I think it was so odd because the the way they present that DVD or South Park, So yeah, that was like back in 2003, like late 2003, I think. You gotta see what else. I, I think there's, uh, there's another Netflix film called... Um, Man, I have to open the pages to see what it was called. Um, the Privilege, I think. The Privilege, I think it's a Spanish film or something. Or you, I, no, I think it's um, German. You know, it, it looked alright. I have it on the list, but it looked alright. I don't think it's going to be that good. But it looks like it involves teenagers, so... But it's German, so I don't really see many German films, especially German horror films. But uh, I'm willing to check it out. Also on Netflix. Okay, let's see if we can get it a little bit over here. Yeah, 
Pick Rathian. I feel like I need to go a little darker. Darker over here. Oh. Yeah, that's quite dark. Take get the details down over here. on the uh, the wings huh yeah the patterns look a little bit different yeah let's let's heighten the color a little bit here with these patterns. They kind of look like hooks, like hook-shaped patterns. So you can add another one here. There we go. Let's get another one over here on this side. sketchy now. <laughs> These patterns. Okay. Another small one here. Can't really see it, but it's all slanted. I should probably paint the, uh, whatchamacallits. These things. like a, a very bright red. Not really bright, but like, it brings out the red for sure. Yeah, get these painted a bit. Show the dark reds. Yeah, this one definitely adds some more uh, saturation to the reds. the spikes on the tail here. It almost looks like it's got blood on it. mouth yet. I feel like um could make it a little bit more dark inside. I'll probably use this color to see how it looks. Oh can you see how the uh, the teeth are gonna look
feel like I need to add a song to it. Something like that. Hmm. Not very clear how this looks over here. Let's go a little bit darker, maybe. like the face like this underneath his eyes this should be a little more uh, yellowish I think let's see make sure to get the right color let's go for a lighter lighter color oh thanks yeah, I think I might start uh, finishing it up soon I could keep on going, but uh, but I kind of want to also uh, also not because <laughs> it'll take forever. Uh, let's see, get the ears. I was also thinking to do like Zelda inspired art. I'm not sure what. Hmm. Let's get the start color back. Ingratian. <laughs> the teeth. Okay. I think I might just keep it like that. Let's add my signature. I'm not sure if there's anything I'm forgetting. I could add some more... Some lighter colors or something. Supposed to be something over here. Above each of these should be a lighter color. There you go, something like that, I think. It, it should look like fireballs or something. Definitely should look this color, I think. Right above it. Let's get a lighter. Let's 
There we go. Oh, not too much. some more like highlights to it or something. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can give it some shine. Uh, I feel like it could be something like another color that's not this color. Alright, let's see. Let's go around the tail a bit. Very, very bright looking. Let's see, a little lighter. Yep, just add some little scuffs to it, I guess. Oh, did you, did you get to to watch that um, Bob Ross documentary? It's also on Netflix. This actually uh, gives it a little more shape. You gotta be careful on these uh, these marks. The shine definitely adds to it. I definitely don't want to add too much shine or else it's gonna... It won't look too uh, wrath wrathy any. I think on certain parts like the... Uh, the spikes and all, I think that's where I should put it. You gonna watch it yet? Make time with Friday Snowstorm sounds like a good time to watch it, yeah. It's a pretty sad one. Like once once you see it you'll you'll be like, whoa. It's like that, you know? And then like everything you ever known about Bob Ross, you you'd be a little more careful, you know? But like, yeah, there there is a dark side to uh, like what happened. Like he didn't do anything bad. It's just that the uh, the folks that uh, he was involved with definitely. Uh, Worth checking out. Oh, notification from THQ Nordic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These uh, these spikes here definitely works on the spikes.
Oh man, too much shine. Not sure if this is even the right color for it. should have saved before I did this the shine part but it's okay um yeah let's get the uh the beak part yeah. Get some up here. Let's go a little lighter. There you go. And the, the whites really help. But I, I feel like um, it should be a different color though. Nope. Let's go a little lighter. Maybe not at all. I think I'll just leave it at that. Alright, let's get some of these scales to light up. Would definitely add a little more definition to them. Sparkly a bit. Might be tough to notice, but unless you really look at the image. I bet this, this entire image is going to exceed 1 MB, 1 megabyte yet again, and I won't be able to upload. Oh well. It's just how they program this game. Okay. I feel like I should have went with uh, pink highlights or something. Alright, let's get these scales. Now it's like coming out a little bit. Uh, let's get this side. Details to the claw.
Okay. So you're gonna start saving this. Man, I really like how the nails came out. Get another one up here. Okay. Let's start adding my signature. Let's go more darker color here. I think I'll put somewhere by the nest. Maybe over here. Oh boy. I feel like I could go for a more darker brown. have an R there. zoom in. Oh, I had to zoom in the entire time. I had to maximize. So you can get that again. Oh, man. There we go. Try to do uh, like a full screen. Should have done that, but it's way too late now. And it's tough to try and like write letters. This small. It's like it's like trying to um, draw on a sketch a sketch. Remember those things? Or etch a sketch? And not just that, but like a small one of those. One of those keychain versions of them. I think that's how it feels like. Etch your sketches. Oh, come on. Alright. I think that is good enough. Good enough. Alright. Thumbs ups. Wow. Sent too many emotes. Oh boy. Yeah. 
This is a uh, pink Rathian. Took like two uh, two sessions. Let's get the outline, and now this week we have the uh, coloring. I wanted to add like more stuff, like maybe rocks or something around, maybe a tree or branch, or even a hunter. But I know that's gonna take a while. Let's see how it looks in the thumbnail. Yep, it's definitely more colored in now. Hmm. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, I've got about the eyes. Let me see. Let me add the eyes real quick. Should be this color. All right, forget about the eyes. Not sure if this is even the right color. Should be a little more thinner or something. Yeah, it should be a little smaller, I think. Yeah, 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 there's, there we go, something like that. I feel like, uh, could add some more shadows to it, to around the eyes a bit. having like the uh, the darks around his eyes gives it more uh, like a menacing look to it cool it's the only part of the uh the image that's like it's got some blues in there Whoop. trying to get these spikes to uh appear a little more Alright. Um, shape the mouth a bit. Okay. Don't want to do too much. Alright, so I'm going to save this. This is. Yeah, this is fine. Pink Rathian. Another Monsanter fan art. Um, yeah, I may want to update, upload this. I'll share it to Steam. Let's see if I even can. Uh, public upload. This is actually how you do it. Share it to Steam. I do like the thumbnail already. 
It's it's a bit stretched, but this one. A balloon. Come on. Let's see how long it takes to upload. If it exceeds 1 MB, oh wow. Successfully uploaded, Swedes. We did an error like the last time. So maybe they fixed it. Maybe they did fix it. Alright. So this is it. I may have to uh close it out from here. So tomorrow, let's see, it's gonna be Thursday, so it's gonna be back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, possibly. Yeah. It might be a little later. I could maybe make it a shorter session because I kind of want to get some uh, video editing done. So we'll see when I'll be on. We'll see. And then, uh, then I'll think about what I want to do on Friday. So we'll see. Depending on how, how fast I can get the, uh, the start screen done. So I'm going to take off for now. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night. And our day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. See you next time!